Today we head to the Cobalt Coastlands in hopes of fulfilling Commander Kamado's orders for us to search out the land and find out the mysteries of this lordless area. The only problem is, Erida has told us the only way of getting information about this area and its late lord and the late lord's heir is for us to climb a mountain and find a woman who rests on top of a mount the mountain named Paulina who is the warden of the late lord and taking care of the new lord. Will we be able to succeed in climbing this mountain and finding Paulina? Or will our efforts be for nothing? Let's find out now! Hey guys, TikTok Gamer is back with another awesome episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch! Hey guys, remember how I had a, uh, had a Bidoof last time? Well... Not anymore! He evolved! No, I'm actually serious. This guy actually evolved. See? He's still level 15. And there you go, there's my new bee barrel. If you guys did last time, you'll know that we did most of the side quests that are to be done here in in Jubilee Village. I say most because a lot of the other ones that we were planning to do last episode required us to go out into the fields, go out into some old areas, some new, and... Why are you so surprised? Oh yeah, I forgot there are a lot of other requests that we could do. Eh, what the heck. Uh, but we did a lot of side quests. We did the ones that could be done here in July Village. Ones that didn't take like two steps. Like, coming from here, going out into the wild, going to like, Crimson Meyerlands or like... The, uh... What's the area called? What's the first area called? The Obsidian Field Lands. Or the Cobalt Coastlands. Any requests that required us to go to any of these three areas, we did not do. <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm just bad at talking sometimes. This time, in this awesome episode, we are going to head to the new area. We are going to travel into the Cobalt Blue. To the beach, to the beachside camp. My One Piece fans out there will uh, understand what that joke is meant to be. Cobalt Blue. Look at this, it's beautiful. Water, it looks like there's like a dead magic carp there. The Cobalt Coastlands! Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands! A simply lovely quarter of Hisu! Sky and, sky and sea as far as the eye can see! What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types? Or fly types, perhaps? Oh ho, I simply can't wait to study them all! Where'd you get that camera? You've never had a camera! Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area as Pokemon, but let's not forget that we've that you've, you've a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Uh, so about... Let's learn a little bit about the Warden. We'll save the Fire Spit Island for uh, when, whenever we get there. Uh, about the Warden. Wardens, in fact. 
Here are the Cobalt Coast lands, you'll find Pauline, the of the Pearl Clan, and Iskan, the of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be of some help to you as you dig into those curious sub occurrences. Thank you. There's Irida. I'm assuming we're gonna have to battle. Can I get him out get out my strongest mon here? There we go. Hello, Irida. Putting us a song? I like songs. <laughs> I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you, so I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. All right, let's start the battle. I knew I made the right choice. Go, Kulaba! Strike her down. Where the heck did the Eevee come from? Okay, so let's hit her with a flame wheel. Cause if you guys didn't know. Ice types are very weak against fire. Alright. That barely hurt. That merely tickled. Hey, why can't you use two Pokemon and I can only use one? That's not fair. Eh, what the heck. I'll just use my flame wheel. Attack! Attack! Defeat our enemies! Actually, no, she's not our enemy. She's our friend. And, uh, we respect her. Oh, come on! Two attacks? Really? Alright, you know what? Uh. Okay, we're going to go with the quick attack. And then we're going to go with the strong style flame wheel. Yes! I have done it! And there we go! If you guys didn't see that message in the, uh... In the, uh, left side, on the left side, for the... for my Quilava, you'll just roll back the video really quick and just take a look at that. Uh, but we will see something very cool right after this. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Then again, aren't we all? Thank you. Allow me to heal up your Pokemon. Why does the screen always go dark whenever they he someone else heals up our Pokemon? All right, with you, I think that I think with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastland lands, a lovely woman named Pauline, Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the, la the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to ask questions about her, about her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter that what anyone might say. We both, we were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please, help her raise the Pokemon she looks after it into a true heir to her to his father. The late Lord. Okay. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. 
And if she, if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. Also, can we make note that her shoes, if the text box can move out of the way, her shoes kind of look like Pokeballs. Pokeballs in a way. Uh, you'll probably see once we're done here. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. Ah, see? Her shoes kind of look like Pokeballs strapped to her feet. You'll be able to find Lena up on the head island, the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Ah, what? I forgot to do something. Okay, the Lordless Island head up there. 700 feet! Jeez. And there's a Pokemon that we need to complete an objective back in town. So you know what? Before we actually head... I have a couple wisps over here, too. So before we actually head to that hill... Uh, I'm actually going to catch one of these. There! Catch one of these. Oh yeah, I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! Wait, wait, wait. No, dang it. I'm getting my buttons confused. No! Eh! There we go. Uh... Oh, we can also follow Star Arabia. Perfect. Okay, let's do it. Cool lava is about to be reborn. Or just about to grow. And here we go! Typhosion, the Hisuian form. I also got an idea for a new move. Let's change up his moves. Oh, Hex! Is it Hex? Looks like it. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead, Hex. And get rid of that for four rollout. Luckily, I can change it whenever I want. So uh, if I need to, I can just change it back. There we go. We also have our Star Avia to evolve, so let's do that too. Why did I add this evolution scene to look so cool? I got a Star Raptor. Star Raptor learned an idea for a new move. That's good. Now I'm just going to use a couple of these on B-Barrel, just so we can catch up with everybody. Mastered multiple moves. That's good. Let's go ahead and use this last one. He has ideas. Okay, so I see, yeah, I've caught one new Pokemon. We're gonna head back to town really quick. Then we're going to head head to where our main objective is located. The you know, one time I actually found the shiny Glam Meow. Only problem is I couldn't sneak up on it well enough, so it ran away before I had a chance to catch it. Uh. Let's go, let's go ahead and return to the village really quick. Then we'll come back. Uh, okay. Hey, cheers. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna fly over here. I know it's not really that far, but uh. I think this is the Pokemon that this guy is talking about. I think. I think I do. Uh, let's go over here. There we go. Yes! This is it! 
It's just as I remember. The elegant tail sway. The elegant, the elegant sway of its tail. Sorry. Ah, uh, that charming spiral shape. Oh, and the enchanting way it bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable. And she's pleased. Aw, it's like me. It's little meow. It's adorable as well. Have you gotten uh, attached to me there, little kitten? Oh, the little Emma. Pokemon are scary, but maybe this one and this little one and I will get along just fine. Ah! The hard thing scratched me! Meow. <laughs> I guess I got a little carried away there. Uh, thanks for showing me your Glamio. Anyway, uh, its tail, at least, was a joy to see. Uh, one day when I find the Pokemon with the perfect tail for me, I'd like to become fr fast friends with it, just like you and your partner Pokemon. Ox... Evasion. Evasion. And some grit dirt. Alright. Now let's go ahead and uh, fly back. Whee! Alright, let's head out. Back to the Meyerlands! I mean the coastlands, sorry. Here we are. Now really quickly. Look at how cool our, st our uh, Typhlosion looks. The Hisuian form, that is. Yes, this is the new Hisuian form that has been added to this game. And... That's just a regular old Star Raptor. Yeah, I know, right? It's very weird. Yeah, I know, right? Alright. Come on back, buddy. I swear I didn't plan that. That was the timing of that was perfect. All right, we're up here. Yep, there's a wisp right over here. There's also one over there somewhere. Thought I touched it. Ah. It's over there. What I looked over. Over that way. I'm gonna walk this way. I have a feeling there's some good things that I can find over here. It's her ugly. Hope we catch it. The. It's level 41 too! And now we finally get to see our new Typhlosion battle. Look at this! It looks like it's covered in wisps. We are going to hex this thing to oblivion. I put a hex on you, and now you're mine. <laughs> Alright. I got some stones to boot. Okay. So, let's just go into the map. Just to How many of you guys lost your... Why? What? Well, we're starring some of these. Okay. We have some satchels to look for. Up. And some Pokemon to collect. Anything else? We also got some berries. Take care of that. We also have a Mothim over here. Did we ever get into Mothims in- 
Yeah, apparently they uh attack apparently these moth will attack you in this game. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Smoke bomb. You just get those without being spotted. Damn it, time flows you! Gave me away! <laughs> you know what? Battle! Ha! This is 42! I can beat 42s any day! See that? I just one shot a level 42 Pokemon! Now, who's the best YouTuber in the world? Okay, PewDiePie and Mr. Beast are very cool. But other than them... Ah! Okay. Drat. Okay. Uh, I also found something over here that could that is going to be helpful later on in the game as we progress on in this place. But uh, for now, shoot, there's an ambi bomb. Uh, throw a cake over there. There we go! Do not turn your back on me. Okay, now it's mad. Wait. Get it. Yes, I caught it! Alright. I can just grab an a pop. Come on, buddy. You too. Come on, join the family. Okay, so they're... If I'm right... No, that's not. I'm wrong. Okay, sorry. Now I'm in the worst position. Okay. I'm almost dead. We also got a side quest over here. 
Okay, uh, excuse me. Have you seen a fellow from the construction corps named Yorch? Sorry, who? Gah, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please, come see me when you have a... Come see me when you have a moment. Setting up the coastline's camp. Okay, I'm totally going off the beaten path. But heck. I'm a YouTuber who loves exploration. Get my ball! Oh, this is a fruit. This is a dragon fruit. No, it's a puff pod! It's a pump. It's a pod pump. But what the? What the heck am I saying? Uh, so. Uh. A pop pod! Jeez! That was really so hard to say. Uh. Get, get rid of. Get, get rid of those. Oh, crap! That's a fruit soul! Get some! We need you. Okay, do I have anything against this thing? Yeah. I think I almost broke my controller with that. I actually got scared. Okay. Uh. Uh. No, let's just go ahead and hit him with an, a strong style aerial ace. See if that how that'll do. How that'll fare. Okay, halfway. This is not that bad. I don't even want to kill it. Yeah. Sure, you can hypnosis me. I'm just going to uh, switch over to my balls and just get a throw one. Now stay in there! Hey. I got it. So let's go ahead, go into our bag. We're gonna go ahead and use a super potion on our, whoops, on our fighting star after right here. And we're gonna go ahead and use a potion on the same star after to which we gave the super potion. And now we run. We book it. Nope, it's the wrong thing. I've been paralyzed. You know what? Just go get him, Krogunk! Cause this is gonna be ridiculous! Venom Shock! Okay. Gonna go into our ball storage. Gonna grab the ball and throw the ball. It's very heavy, so you might not be able to fly. Of course you can. You still can. I thought you couldn't. My bad. Oh, uh, you know what? Go throw a great ball. Great ball! Yes! Okay. I caught myself a butterfly. Okay. Let's 
Let's get down on our knees. And... Yes! And I can also go into my bag. I, for I totally forgot I could do this. I can go to... I can't. I have to have the materials on hand, apparently. Apparently, having them in your bag is not enough. What saw me? Not here. Okay, I'm having terrible luck. Yes, I got a chat on. Let's go. Okay, we're good. Totally good. Wait. Forget to pick up my pod. Pick up another pod. Okay. Oh, this is her. The skull. We also have a space time rift going on over there. Okay, there's a volcano over there. Remoraid. Okay, so now I've I've gotten off track so much. And I apologize for that. Let's just make our way back here. Give me a second. Give me just one second. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, wait, it's almost night, it's almost night time. Yes! You know what? I can do this later. Alright. Space time distortions. When you walk inside of them, be on your guard. You will find many beautiful items in here, but you will also find many strong Pokemon. You can catch Pokemon in here, but it's really difficult. So only come in here if you think you will walk into walls. No. Only come in here if you feel prepared. <gasps> it's a Togepi! Yes! I got myself a Togepi, a Togepi, a Togepi. Got myself a Togepi. Okay. I will come back. I will go back there at some point. But for now, I really gotta start making progress. Charge! 
Nope. There's also an alpha Pokemon around here somewhere. Alpha Wall Rain, right there. Also, if you're watching this video, remember every place that you see a, an alpha Pokemon. I think, don't quote me on this. I think they will always appear in the same spots. Can catch another one? Hey, you got me spotted! I actually thought I could catch that thing. Okay, we got a Star Raptor up here. Throw over Feather Balls and we can catch it. It's not easy though. And we also have a Dust Ox over here. You can also catch that. Okay. Let's go ahead and use a hex. I don't want to kill it. I want to catch it. If I haven't already told you guys, I will tell you now. You can you can get a Whirlpool and have it evolve into a Dust Ox. But Whirlpool has two evolution lines. We'll get into that like a like later. Or you know what? I can get into it now. I can get into it now because it's a very, it's a very easy topic. Whirlpool? I don't know. It's always random what a Whirlpool is going to evolve into. They can either evolve into a Silcoon or a Cascoon. Silcoons are whiter. Cascoons are purple. So if you get a Cascoon, it'll evolve into a Dustox. If you get a Silcoon, it'll evolve into a Beautifly. Just so you guys know, for the future. Okay. And of course there was a Mothim up here. Excuse me. Okay, really? Okay, I saw that one, so I know that was there. Hmm, open field. That's never a good sign. Dang it! I didn't want to... Dang it! Just burn it. Just flamethrower it. Gonna hide behind this rock. Now you're done with that. Also, I really hope my explanations make sense to you guys. Because if they don't, then I just sound like an idiot. I just wanted to be helpful. Okay. Are you the Survey Corps guy that uh, quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Uh, well, listen to this. A couple of A-palms stole, stole my pack full of goods. Right over there. Yeah, they've been darting around leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. There they go. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my bag back from those Apom? Keep an eye, keep an eye out for Apom. Okay.
Also, there's a fire spit island over there. Can't get to, we can't get to that now, but we will be able to make it to it later. Get the ball. Thank you. That's definitely an alpha. Town. I am very bad at catching Pokemon. There we go. There we go. There's also a lot of purple stuff around here. Okay, those are just flowers. Okay. Growl! Hush now. Settle down. I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? Oh, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Cleavor and Lilligent when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet, you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less the frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous ward lord was swallowed up by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that has had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. Aww. If you were to guess which which of these Growlithe would you say is the per previous Lord's child? Uh. So you would probably say it's the big one, but it's a trick question. They're throwing you for a loop. The little one. Ooh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish Growlithe is the child of the previous lord. Bow. <sighs> I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left the deepest scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready. But I can never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the Coastlands? Uh, I'm here to help the air. I've, I make for, I make for Spire, Fire Spit Island. No, I'm here to help the air. Ah, uh, did he already ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate this kind of gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. <laughs> so now that you know our situation... Fine, I make for Fire Spit Island. A survey of Fire Spit Island, I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basu... Basque Legion, if you wish to cross the, le the sea. You should speak to Iskan, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening on, out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course. But then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift that rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. 
I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict, over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an easy, an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, uh, but I digress. Digress. I do apologize. Iskan lives on Apon Hill. Apom Hill. Just past Ginkgo Land Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Wow. So she's still here? Yeah, she's still here. Okay, so... Can I fly there? No, I can't. So I have to walk all the way back there. But you guys remember that little house we saw there last time, right? Last time we were over there, which was like a couple of minutes ago? Yeah, that's where he's staying at. So, we need to walk all the way back. All the way back down this mountain. And over there. But, we will make that trek next episode. Next episode, guys. But, we did do a lot this episode. We made it all the way over here to the Cobalt Coastlands. We made it all the way over here to... What is this place? The Headland. I, I remember that much. And we talked to Pauline, and we met the late lord. The little lord. Rao. I guess this is a fair stopping point. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this awesome episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. Please see you next time. We'll make the trek to Iskans. House, hut, and see if he can give us some help in calling out for a best legion, and so that we can make our way to the Firespin Island. It'll be a lot of fun, I promise. So long, everybody, and thanks for watching. And now, we take a dip in the ocean. Ha! I felt good. <laughs> so everybody, thanks for watching.